What is the SIPA myocyte study? The inability to predict a drug's cardiovascular liability prior to clinical trials or launch has resulted in numerous costly late-stage drug development failures and market withdrawals. Non-cardiovascular drugs that delay cardiac repolarization have been linked to a potentially fatal arrhythmia called torsade de pointe. This delay in cardiac repolarization can be observed as a prolongation of the period between the start of the Q wave and the end of the T wave, also known as the QT interval, on the ECG. Almost all drugs that delay cardiac repolarization and cause torsade de pointe have been shown to block the repolarizing Herg potassium current. Consequently, for the last decade, cardiac safety screening has focused on evaluating the impact of drugs in Herg channel assays and in vivo QT measurements. Although these tests have been proven effective at limiting the release of drugs that are pro-arrhythmic, it is widely considered that extensive focus on Herg has resulted in a high failure rate in drug discovery. For example, the L-type calcium channel blocker verapamil is a potent blocker of Herg current but does not prolong the QT interval or pose a risk of TDP. There is good reason to reconsider approaches to the evaluation of drug-induced arrhythmia. Both SIPA and JIXA are initiatives with the aim of updating the existing cardiac safety testing paradigm to better evaluate arrhythmia risk and remove the need for QT studies. One proposed test of the SIPA panel is a microelectrode array assay that tracks drug-induced changes to beating heart cells in a dish. This cardiomyocyte MEA assay offers an ideal approach when evaluating pro-arrhythmic indicators in vitro. The cardiomyocyte MEA assay relies on the measurement and analysis of the cardiac field potential signal, which arises from the propagation of the cardiac action potential across a functional syncytium, much in the same way the clinical ECG arises from the propagation of the cardiac action potential across the heart. From the field potential signal, clear markers for depolarization and repolarization enable the quantification of beat frequency, strength of depolarization, repolarization timing, and repolarization irregularities, with the latter two measures being crucial for an accurate SIPA assay. As demonstrated in the SIPA pilot in Phase 2 studies, the Maestro ME8 platform can be used to detect Herg potassium, calcium, and sodium channel blockers with ease. Here, moxifloxacin, a Herg potassium channel blocker, produced a dose-dependent prolongation of repolarization and incidence of EADs. By contrast, the L-type calcium channel blocker, nifedipine, shortened repolarization with increasing concentration. And mixilatine, the sodium channel blocker, reduced the spike amplitude. Axion's previous participation in SIPA has demonstrated that the Maestro provides extremely reliable results for commercially available cardiomyocytes, with a high degree of site-to-site -site reproducibility and software tools that track the biology with high fidelity. Maestro MEA is the complete solution for MEA cardiomyocyte assays. Continue watching to learn about the results from the SIPA Myocyte Phase II Validation Study.